Hi everyone, it's Tawanda from Lerunzo and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this heartbeat design for your t-shirt or hoodie. So to get started, the first thing is I'm going to drag a ruler from up there and I'm going to place it where I think it's going to work for the, for the outline of me protruding from within the heartbeat. So as you can see I've already created a new layer right down there. So now that we've put the ruler there, we're going to go ahead and select the um, pass tool. And then we're going to create the first point, let's say here. And then the next point here. You might need to zoom in here. Right. And now I'm just going to quickly add points right around, right around this image. You can go ahead and just drag that and use these little handles to make sure that it's aligned to your image. Or if it's just a curve, you can press Command or Control and drag it outwards like that. This really doesn't have to be perfect since we're not going to be using the actual image. We just need it as a reference. Right, once you're happy with what you've created, go ahead and right click edit and then stroke path I'm just gonna go with a line width of 10 and I'm gonna use a solid I'm gonna be using a solid line if you want you can make adjustments here but I'm just gonna go with that I think that's gonna be perfect for me click OK then we have the outline so you will notice that the outline is actually on this new layer the layer I created before putting my paths so click that and we're not going to be needing that anymore so remove the visibility and there we go that's the outline now we're going to create a new layer click ok and then we're going to put the heartbeat wavelength or, or wave so i'm going to start off i think instead of somewhere here and then put the second one here then we're going to start off downward we're gonna we're gonna go up. We're gonna go down a bit. And then I'm gonna go right on that line there, and then click inside there. So we're gonna right click again, edit, and then stroke path. So you'll notice that we've already created this this wave on this side here. You can go ahead and create a totally different one on this other side, but if you want to save time or you want it to be, you know, consistent, you can go ahead and duplicate that layer there. And then you move that. You'll see that my canvas is a little too small for that. If you want, you can always go ahead and select the image option and then canvas size and then increase the width. Click resize. There you go. That should be fine. And then for the last one, I think I'm just gonna duplicate that again. You can you can add you can add as many as you want, depending on the size you need. After duplicating it, I'm gonna flip it like that. And then I can drag that right at the beginning there. I can have it like that or I can just delete that layer where is it there and then have this come on this side as an inverted or as a flip version and just make sure that that is aligned yes it is Then I can have that here. Yeah. 
right now the next step is to merge all layers so it's command or control plus M and then press enter to merge and that's about it if you want you can also go ahead and add text to your image Let's just change the colors there I think I'm gonna go with uh, let's say my rhythm I don't know if I got that correct I really suck at spelling then now I'm gonna change the font I'm really fond of glow brush yeah glow brush and then the font size to 100 place it right there and then again you can merge all layers and pretty much that's it that's all you need to do now I'm just gonna go ahead and export that Save it on my desktop as a heartbeat.png. And really, that's it. That's that's how you create a heartbeat design. And as always, thank you guys for watching. If you find this helpful, useful, don't forget to share with your friends, your peers, your colleagues, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching.